because that's all I have. Yeah, that, that'll work. <laughs> that's that'll get the job done. All, all right. right, we'll get started here. We'll roll out. All right. All right, go ahead and grab your roller, which it looks like you already have there. So we're gonna start, start with our lats today. We don't do this one too often. So kind of starting on the side of our back, right around the middle, straightening out that arm, and then rolling right from the middle all the way up to right under the shoulder. All right, we'll go ahead and switch sides. All right, let's move down to our glutes. All right, let's switch sides. All right, from here, we're moving to the IT band on the side. All right, we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. All right, from here, we're rolling to the quads on the front. All right, last one we're gonna do is the side of our calf. So kind of setting up like you would for the IT band uh, roll, except rather than putting it on your thigh, you're gonna put it on the side of your, your calf here. And then you're gonna lift your hips off the ground. So you're kind of in a side plank. And then you're just gonna roll like the, the top half of your, the lower part of your leg. So from right around the mid middle of your calf to right under your knee. You'll probably feel when you hit the spot. That's tell you. All right, go ahead and switch.
All right, guys, go ahead and uh, set your roller off to the side. Next, we're gonna go into our side lying uh, T-spine rotation. So just lying on our side, knees up at 90 degrees, blowing those knees to the ground, and then just opening up at our shoulders as far as we can. We're gonna go for eight reps here on each side. All right, once you get eight, go ahead and switch. All right, once we're done with that, we're just gonna sit straight up into our 90-90 position and we'll just do our hold here so think both knees touching the ground trying to sit up nice and tall good posture we're just going to hold this here All right, go ahead and switch to the other side. All right, let's move to our back. We're gonna do glute bridge. We'll just go both legs at the same time. So think pressing those elbows into the ground, toes off the floor, bridging up to the ceiling. We're gonna go for 12 reps. All right. All right, when you guys are done with that, well, actually, we're gonna do one more on the floor. We're gonna do a floor angel. So just lying flat, make sure you got that belly button tucked into the floor, palms facing the ceiling, arms nice and straight, and then we're just bringing our hands as close together as we can while keeping those arms straight and those hands on the floor. We're gonna go for 10 reps here. All right, once you guys are done with that, we'll go ahead and stand up. All right, we're gonna go into lateral squats. So go feet nice and wide here. Say hi to Josie. <laughs> feet nice and wide, toes pointed forward. And we're just sitting our butt back onto our heel, alternating each side. We'll go for eight on each side here. All right, when you guys are finished with that, we'll do one more. Last one, march to SLDL. So bringing your opposite leg, opposite arm up, tipping over into our SLDL, trying to stay balanced on that one leg the whole time. Ooh, <laughs> go for eight on each side. We'll switch. Ooh, man, my balance is off today. <laughs> All 
All right. Hey, Deb. Guys. How you doing? Good. Good. Hey, do you have a do you have a weight? I have a lot of weight. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do a dumbbell. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Cool. I just want to make sure you had something. All right. So, um, circuit today, we're gonna do kind of like three rounds. The first one we're gonna do, we're gonna do reps of five for everything. So we have a drag, which is like our push-up plank drag, um, straight into an alternating single leg glute bridge, and then straight into a push-up. So I'll kind of show you how this works. So we've got our drag so you guys know that for the drag since it says five reps we'll just double that so it's five on each side ten total so you'll do your drag here once you hit ten you're gonna drop down into your glute bridge so you're just gonna take your weight stack it on your hips and then you're gonna go one side at a time just alternating until you get to ten total and then from there you're gonna set your weight down flip back over and then knock out five push-ups so that right there would be one round and you're going to try to knock out as many of those as you can in six minutes. All right. So each one is going to be each one of these one, two, three is going to be six minutes long. Um, we'll have about, I think I said a minute rest in between. Um, and the goal is to do as many rounds as you can in that six minutes. All right. Any questions on that? I'll go over these two during the rest times. Okay. All good. Okay. All right. Let me get the timer going. So we're starting with um, drag with the drag straight into an alternating glute bridge and then into push ups. All right, guys. All right. Ready, set, and go. Six minutes, as many rounds as you can here. Starting with the drag, then single leg glute bridge, and then push ups. Right. Dropping down to the glute bridge. So we're just alternating each leg here. And then flipping over into the push up once you finish the glute bridge. All right, about one minute in. So if we can knock out one round per minute, I'd say that's pretty good. So at the end, we want to shoot for about six to seven rounds. If you can do more, that's even better. Push-ups. All right, guys, two minutes in. Remember too, this is go at your own pace. So if you find that you need rest, just rest wherever you need it and then just jump right back in. All 
right, guys, we are three minutes in, halfway done with the time. Right, two minutes to go. Remember with the uh, push-up plank and the drag, try to keep your feet nice and wide so your hips aren't swaying too much. All right, guys, just under one minute left. Try to blast through one more round. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. I got five push ups. All right, guys, go ahead and rest. Whew. Start the rest timer here. Minute and a half. All right, how'd you guys do? Good. Good. <laughs> nice. Do you know how many rounds you got? I, I did seven and like seven pull throws. Okay. Nice. I did six. Six. Okay, that's good. Oh. All right. Okay, so for the next one. We're gonna do reps of eight here. So we have a squat to a swing to an overhead press. So you're gonna start, we're gonna hold it. You're gonna hold your dumbbell kind of in like a waiter position just by your shoulder here. We're gonna do eight squats and it's right into eight uh, single arm swings and then eight shoulder presses. With the shoulder presses, you can use your knees a little bit to boost the weight up. Um, and then once you finish one round on one side, you just do the same thing on the other side. Any questions on that? I don't think so. so do I hold the weight like this? Let me see. Ya. Yeah, kind of like oh. you would like waiter hold for a kettlebell, but it just won't. It won't hang against your wrist. It'll just sit in your hand, right here. Okay. All right. And might I feel a little. Whole arm through. For the swing. Yeah. With a. Yeah, you basically hold so it the same you would. Thing. Oh, yeah, just hold it. Maybe hold it like this, Deb. Okay. Just so it doesn't smash into your, into your legs. Um, yeah. Or I can go down a weight, too. Okay. I yeah, got kind of improvise here. I got these little ones, too. Okay. I'll try right, this big one first and see. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So remember, we're going squat, swing, overhead press. Eight reps of each, and then switch sides. All right. Six minutes. Three, two, one, and begin. Squat, swing, press. All right, on to the swing. And then press. All right. Once you guys finish one side, right to the other side. About one minute down. Right to the press. All right, guys, about a minute and a half. So let's say a minute and a half to two minutes to do both sides. Remember with this press, you can use your lower body too. So not a full squat, but you're using your lower body to help push that weight up. All right, guys, halfway, halfway done. Probably about two rounds, two rounds in, or two on each side. We're getting there. All right, two minutes to go. Ooh, shoulders are getting tired. Minute and a half left.
All right, 50 seconds. Try to knock out one more side. Twenty seconds. Eight seconds. Finish strong, whatever side you're doing. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Nice job, guys. Everybody's still alive after that? Yes. <laughs> How'd the dumbbells work out? That's fine. I just went sideways. Okay, cool, <laughs> cool. All right, so last round, we're gonna bump it up a notch rep-wise. We're going 10 reps on everything. Starting with a lunge, we'll do goblet into an SLDL and then into a floor press. So obviously for goblet lunge, you're just gonna go here, and we'll just do an alternating forward lunge here. And then when you get to the SLDL, we're gonna do like a farmer hold, but with one weight. So you're holding it down the middle here with both hands, and then you're just gonna alternate on each leg. And then when you get down to the floor press, we're gonna do like a glute bridge floor press. So you're gonna bring those hips up, and then it's one arm at a time, pressing straight up to the ceiling, and we'll go 10 reps on each side. Actually, no, that'll take forever. We'll go five reps on each side with that. So 10 reps total for everything, and then five on each side. Okay. All right. Remind me what the first one is again. Oh yeah, the Yeah, so, yep, so we'll go alternating forward lunge, okay. to alternating SLDL, to floor press, kind of glute bridge floor press. 10 reps for everything. All right, let's get ready to go here. Last one. Starting with lunge, SLDL, and then floor press. All right, ready, set, and go. Six minutes. All right, into SLDL when you're done with the lunges. All right, and then when you're done with the SLDLs, we're going to floor press, hips up floor press. With the floor press guys, we'll just go obviously one time or one side at a time. All right, guys, about two minutes in here.
All right, guys, about three minutes in, halfway. We're getting there. Almost at the two minute mark. All right, two minutes left. Turn on the afterburners. All right, last minute, guys. All right, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Try to get your last reps in here. And rest. All right. That is it. Whew. All right, nice job, guys.